Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the FizzCast. I'm your host, Physic, and I just had my mic unplugged. I think I've, I've never, I've had recording issues, but not, that's, that's pretty much the first time I've, I've started without even plugging in my mic. Very good for me. So, um, uh, hi, how's it been? Over here, it's been good. It's been good in the days, been good in the life. Um, I've trying to been, kind of been running through ideas of what to do with this channel, and I really just need to get verified. <laughs> That's really what it is. Well, not, I mean, you know, not the whole super big verified or whatever, but just enough that I can upload longer videos. That's all I need. Either that or I need to put a significant amount of effort into cutting whatever video that I have now down to 15 minutes, and that would be annoying. Um... So, I mean, yeah, it's it's sort of annoying trying to get around it, but hey, that's all right. It's just an obstacle in the way, and there are many ways around it. There are provided ways around it, and uh, I just need to sort of get on top of it and figure it out. But yeah, anyway, I, I, uh, our school has performed the spring play for the uh, past couple days, and tonight is another one, so that should be fun. Um, maybe someone will record it, I don't know, it'll be somewhere, maybe, but, uh, yeah, school's performing the spring play, I'm, t I'm in it, and I get to have a lot of fun, I, um, me and one of my best friends are also, like, we're the, the dads of two of the main characters, and so it's, like, it's really, really funny how we could just get to be that sort of archetype, and, um, I'm definitely enjoying it, I'm enjoying it a lot, I'm enjoying it a lot, um, but, yeah, I mean, hey, things are going well. I think there was a topic that I had a couple days ago that I can't really remember now. It's it was something to do with thoughts and like how well we can we can improv it. Something to do with thoughts and like how when they're in your head, they're like they're so real, but they don't go anywhere. And they don't do anything. They're just like they're just scenarios that you have in your mind in your brain. They're just electrical signals that are making you see things and feel things and it's crazy and that's what I'm kind of I'm kind of going off of it's 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 amazing how how things that aren't even there can actually be there and you can see them so vividly you can you can draw entire pictures in your head you can hear music you can make music you have the symphonies and everything that's that's one thing I was gonna say I had a dream where I was like, I was like some in some restaurant or something and sitting and there was a choir, not, not necessarily a choir, but like probably 12 people in it. It was like a really big barbershop quartet, basically a triple, triple quartet. And, um, they had amazing harmonies and I was like, wow, this is so cool to listen to. And then when I realized it was a dream, I was like, wait a minute, that was in my head. I made that. I haven't heard that anywhere else. That was just in my brain. But I've heard the chords before, I guess, and my brain was just able to perfectly recreate them in such a way that just had that wonderful jazz vibe to it. And I was like, whoa, I did that. That's somewhere in me. I have to unlock that. And it's like, wow, I didn't do that. It's, it's, it's so strange how that's possible. Or say, like, you have, you can draw entire pictures in your head. You can, you can draw these amazing images. And, but you can't replicate them onto, like, paper and stuff. It's so, so, so strange. I mean, obviously, some people, I don't even want to say some, I want to say quite a few people could, are able to do that, sort of, are, are able to put it down on paper. But, or in, you know, whatever medium you do art through, um, but I'm not one of them, but I, I, I'm able to see these things, I'm able to see each and every brush stroke that goes through this, this, like, image, and yet I'm, I'm completely incapable of putting it on paper, I can do, like, a version of it, but nothing even close to what's in my head, and that's crazy to me, I, I just, I, I it's so weird, it's so wild, the fact that thoughts are so real and so non-existent. And then there's like, you, you know, you run through all these thoughts in your head. 
and you wonder what's running through someone else's, but you'll never know unless they decide to tell you, or describe it, or if they actually make the music, or draw the picture, you know? You'll never know what's running through their head until it comes out of their mouth, or out of their hands, or out of their heart, you know, it's just something crazy like that. There are millions of billions of trillions of thoughts that will never come to fruition, and I'll never know what any of them are. But, and, and I, I just think that's crazy. I mean, I guess I won't never know what any of them are. I'll definitely know what some of them are, but we'll never know all of them. We'll never know all of those ideas and all of those thoughts. And some of them could be absolutely revolutionary and no one even knows. Some of those could be just the most insane thing that you've ever heard, but it just might work. And yet, because it's trapped in someone's head without a way to express it, it is... that. I mean, that's really just what it is. It's trapped. And, um... I don't know. I wish there was a way that, you know, everyone could just say that. Some some people can, absolutely. I, that, that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to take all these thoughts in my head and put them out there. You know, record them, talk about them, exchange them for your attention. <laughs> um, but it's so interesting to think about, which is funny. <laughs> thinking about people thinking about thoughts they think that you can't think about. I don't know. I don't know. But, uh, yeah. I mean, that's really as far as I can get in that without just looping myself over and over again. But here is another sort of topic. I was told recently that the video that I made with the whole just making the skin or whatever on Minecraft, the Minecraft skin, was nice. It was nice to, to have some sort of stimulus on the screen. And so, I, I want to do that, but I don't know what I do. I thought about doing um, Sandbox. I know it's an app, but it might be a website. I might have to get it on an emulator or something. But I thought about just doing Sandbox stuff whenever I was making videos. And then whenever I'm done with the picture, I'm done with the video. Or if I'm, it's not like that, you know, I just move on. Something like that. What would you think about having some sort of visual stimulus on the screen? Because, I mean, I'd like it, of course, but I don't want it to be so... I don't want it to be goofy, you know? I don't want it to be like that. I don't want to have to, you know... I could play Minecraft by all means. I could just auto a game or whatever and just, you know, do nothing about it. But it's it's. I could also put effort into it and draw and, you know, have it, that sort of interaction with the screen while I'm talking and so you can also have that interaction, but have this sort of, you know, monologue in the background. What would you think of that? Because, I mean, by all means, I would enjoy having that. I would just need to figure it out. Um, but, yeah. Um, I really hope this recording doesn't get corrupted, because there is a very scary message on my screen that is making me think that it will be corrupted. But we don't know. We don't know. And, um... <laughs> I guess we'll just have to find out. All right, we're at eight and a half minutes. How can I fill in about a minute? I might as well just say... I could just wrap things up here and actually end things at ten minutes. Because <laughs> my intros always take like a minute and a half or whatever. But, yeah. All right. Anyway, yes, I guess I'll just do that. Thank you very much for tuning in to this episode of the FizzCast. I will try to come back. I'm trying to get this sort of regular thing going. Um, and I will have that big video that I've been teasing at for a while out as soon as I can, as soon as I figure out this stupid issue going on. But um, when I do figure it out, life will be good. Life will be very good. I will be happy, and I will start a new phase of content, of stuff that's edited and, and, and gameplay videos stuff. <laughs> That'll be fun. I'm probably going to end up recording more of that today, also. And so that will be fun. But, yes. I suppose that is all for me. There's 20 seconds until the 10 minute mark, so I'm just going to stall out a little bit. Um, but, yes. Alright. Thank you very much for tuning in to this particular episode of the FizzCast. I hope to see you again next time. 
And who knows, maybe the next video will be the big one. You have a wonderful day. I'll see you when I see you. Bye-bye.